Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is senses. And before we get into any lessons, my dear friends, we know that we have to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing is not the only way we can stay safe. We can practice good social distancing and wear our masks when we are out in public. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we are going to be talking about bonds of 14, syllables and geometry. Now boys and girls, we are going to start our lesson by going to page 23. On page 23, it is all about the number 14. We are going to be doing bonds of 14, which means that any answer we get needs to be 14. The first one is to join up numbers in bonds so that they add up to make 14. We are going to do one of the blocks together. And then after that, you're going to circle the bonds by putting a circle round the pair that make up 14. Let's do the first one together. Now the first one has already been done where we say 7 and 7 make 14. So now that we have done this one, let's try and find another one that we know will make 14 or we can try. Let's see if we say 1 and 10. Now 1 and 10 may or may not make 14. So we need to first check. Let's use counters today. On my table, I have my blue counters. These are the ones that are going to help us. So we said we are looking at one and 10. So I'll put one counter in front and then count 10. One is already there. So we need 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10. So we know that these are 10 and we're going to count on 10, 11. So we know that if we say 10 and 1, they do not make up a 14 number or the number 14. Let's try, let's try 1 and 13. So here I need 13. I already have 10, 12, 13 plus this one here makes 14. So 1 and 13 do make 14. The rest of them you can try by yourselves. Take your time and make sure that you check either with your counters or with your fingers. Let's now move on to the one where we have to circle two numbers so that they can add up to 14. Already they have given you this one where they said 10 and 4 will give you 14. Now we have to find the others. Let's try. Uh, let's try 7 and 7. 
So with our counters, we're going to count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven in front. So we have one of the sevens. Let's try and count for the other seven by counting on. Seven is already there. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that is correct. Seven and seven can make 14. So you're going to circle seven and the other seven as well. You can use different colors to circle so that you don't get confused. Let's now try another one. We're going to try 11 and three. So I'm going to count 11 counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I have 11 here. Now I need three. We're going to count on. 11 is already there. 12, 13, 14. So yes, 11 and three, when put together, make up 14. So make sure you circle neatly, boys and girls. And you can do the rest by yourselves. Use your counters, use your fingers, anything to help you to circle only two numbers. For both of them, take your time. I will see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Let's continue our lesson now, boys and girls, by going to page 24. On page 24, we are going to be doing syllables. Now remember, syllables is when we take a word and we break it down into sounds. So it's going to be your job to read these words and then you are going to decide which one is going to go away. There are one syllable words and then there are two syllable words. You need to read the spelling words below and then after that you will decide whether or not they are going to go to one syllable words or two syllable words. We are going to do four words together. So let's take a look at the board. The first word that we're going to do is the word music. Now I want us to say it slowly because that's how we start. Music. Music. Very good. Now as we say it slowly, we are going to clap. Music. Music. Good job. How many times did we clap for the word music? If you said twice, good job. So that means that the word music is going to go under the two syllable words. So that is where you will write it. The next word we're going to do is the word good. Let's first say it slowly. Good. Good. Well done. Now let us Try and clap as we say it slowly. Good. Good. How many times did we clap for the word good? If you said once, good job. So that means the word good is going to go under the one syllable words. Please write the word good. Well done. The next one that we're going to do is the word here. Let's say it slowly. Here. 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 Well done. Now let's say it with clapping. Here. Here. Good job. How many times did we clap for the word here? Once. Perfect. So that means that we have to write it on the one syllable words. The last one we're going to do together is the word listen. Let's say it slowly. Listen. Listen. Now let us clap it. Listen. Listen. How many times did we clap for the word listen? 
If you say it twice, well done. So that means that you're going to write it under the two syllable words. So continue by yourselves, boys and girls. Make sure you first say the word and then you try to say it slowly and then you try to clap while saying it slowly. If you do that, then you'll know whether you're putting it under the one syllable words or the two syllable words. Have fun and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. To end our lesson today, boys and girls, let's all go to page 25. On page 25, we are going to do geometry with 3D shapes. For each shape, we are going to write down the faces, the edges and the corners. We're going to write down how many of them they are. They've given you an example of the triangular prism. So first you have to write the name and then you count the edges, the faces and the corners. Now, if you're going to do this, you need to count carefully. So they've shown you what an edge looks like what a face looks like and what a corner looks like. In this case, there are five faces, nine edges and six corners. To help you with the rest, we're going to discuss some of the shapes and their properties. So let's take a look at the flashcards. Now the first one, like we did already, is the triangular prism. They've given you all the information you need to know. I'd like you now to try it by yourself to see if you will get the same number of faces, edges and corners. After that, you can move on to the first one, the sphere. Now the sphere is round and has no edges or corners. So that's the clue I'm giving you. And if you check closely, it only has one face. The next one that we have is the cube. Now the cube has many, many properties. You can see that the face is right in front here, but you need to count all of them. And then we are talking about the edges. That's where the top or the part where we can run our finger through. And then the last ones are the corners where two points meet. You're going to have to count all the corners all the edges and the faces as well. The same thing is going to be done for the cylinder. Now the cylinder is different from the cube because it has less corners and less faces and even less edges. So be careful when you're counting for the cylinder. The next one that you're going to count for is the rectangular prism. Similar to the cube but not the same all the time. So be careful when you're counting for the cube and the rectangular prism. The last one that you have in your booklets is the cone. Now the cone is a bit tricky because sometimes we don't know if it's an edge right at the bottom here or a corner. But like I said, a corner is when two points meet. So that is your clue there for the cone. So take your time boys and girls, make sure you write the correct names first. And then after that, take a look at your picture and count the edges, the corners, and the faces. When you are done, try to double check by doing it the opposite way, starting with the cone and then ending with the sphere. I will see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi.
boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. I know I did. Remember, if you're not sure what to do or you are lost, that's okay. You can always ask an adult for help. Just make sure you finish all your exercises by yourself. So now that we are done, we need to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing is very important because it teaches us to remain clean all the time. Make sure that you have no, no germs around you by sanitizing regularly. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi and I are now going to go outside and play, but I wonder where he is. I haven't seen him the whole day. Have you? Sashi? Oh, there you are, Sashi. Are you ready to go outside and play? Oh, wonderful. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.